All right, welcome to uh, section 1.2, Pre-Calculus 20. Uh, we are in the Pre-Calculus 11 McGraw-Hill-Ryerson textbook. And um, here's what we see on page 1 of 1.2. Arithmetic series. Now, we talked about arithmetic sequences, correct? Uh, an arithmetic sequence is a list of terms, and those terms are separated by a common difference. So you add the same number to each term to get the next. And that's a, a regular pattern that continues. That's called an arithmetic sequence. The difference between a sequence and a series is a series is when you add up the terms in a sequence. So we're going to start off with this little story here. Um, this is Friedrich Gauss, and he was a mathematician that was born in Germany. And uh, he has done a lot of things for, for math. He's, he's uh, created a lot of uh, things, uh, written a lot of things. He was, he's an amazing mathematician. Um, there's a lot of things that we can thank Gauss for. Um, one of the things is the, um, you know, the formulas and the reasoning behind the sum of an arithmetic series. So there's actually a story here about when he was a kid. This is how brilliant he was. And this is sort of the, the uncovering of, of this genius that, um, of Gauss. The teacher, when he was 10, a teacher challenged him to find the sum of the numbers from 1 to 100. And so, of course, being a teacher, I, <laughs> I imagine Gauss was... Mm, well, let's say maybe he was a bit of a pain because he was maybe so smart. And uh, maybe he was correcting the teacher a little bit, or maybe he was getting finished his homework so quick and then causing trouble. I don't know. But the teacher thought, I'm going to get this little Gauss guy, and I'm going to send him off to the corner, and I am going to get him to add up the numbers from 1 to 100. Now, remember, the teacher's probably thinking 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, 3 plus 3 is 6, and then plus 4, and then plus 5, and thinking it's going to take him a long time. Well, the story goes that Gauss responded with the correct answer in a matter of minutes. And I can just imagine that teacher thinking, I'm going to keep this kid occupied for 20 minutes or a half an hour, and uh, no, that doesn't work. So anyways, um, how did he do it? How did he do it? Well, the explanation of how Gauss thought of this was very, very creative, uh, very, very ingenious. And so this is what he did. He recognized that we are adding numbers from 1 to 100, okay? And if you think about this sum right here, and if you were to reverse the order of the sum, or notice that the first term and the last term, and then the second term and the second last term, and the third term and the third last term, and so on, they all add up to the same number. So look at this. Um, two ways to look at it. Two sums, two of them, written in reverse order. When you add those up, you get the same number in each column here. You see that? Now, two sums, you have 100 groups of 101. Okay? So if you were to add up that sum twice, that's two sums, you get 100 times 101. But you only need one sum, so let's take that and divide it by 2. And so Gauss probably did something like this. He probably thought, okay, there's a pattern, because remember, math is about patterns. If I'm adding up 1 and 2 and 3 on this end, I'm also adding up 100, 99, and 98 on this end. 1 plus 100 is 101. 99 plus 2 is 101. Huh. 97, I'm sorry, 98 plus 3 is 101, 97 and 4. And he's probably thinking, hey, there's a pattern. So how can I use that to my advantage? Well, that sum, there would be 50, remember, there's 100 numbers, there would be 50 groups of 101. And so 50 times 101 is still a bit daunting for a 10-year-old. However, 100 times 101 is easy. You add two zeros. So 50 would be half of that. And that's probably what he did, right? So I'm going to explain this. Let's do something quite a bit simpler. Let's not talk about 100 numbers. Let's talk about uh, four numbers, OK? Add up the uh, numbers from 1 to 4. Add them up and total them. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Now, we can look at this, and you can add that up pretty quick. But let's take a look at Gauss's pattern. And what I've done here is I've kind of made little circles here, and I'm going to move these circles around. So remember, what Gauss noticed was that the last term and the first term, and I'm going to move this around, 
the last term and the first term, and then the second last term and the second term should add up to the, the same number. Now this is if it's an arithmetic series. Okay, this has got to be arithmetic. Okay. So remember, we're doing the first plus the last, then the second plus the second last, third plus the third last, and so on, right? Following Gauss's example. So look at what this. This sum actually turns out to be 4 plus 1, that's 5, times 2. There's two groups of 5 here. So where did we get that? Well, we got that from adding the first and the last, and then multiplying that by mm, the total number of groups we have. So that's the total number of groups over 2, or half of whatever the number of numbers we, we have. Okay, so that's just a kind of a start here. Okay, that's kind of a start to thinking about what a sum formula might look like. Now, I'm going to tell you a story from last year's Christmas party. Oh, this was so great. Are you ready for a story? Last year's staff Christmas party, we were, there was about 20 tables, okay? Maybe not that many, 14, 13. Tables of staff and spouses from the school, okay? And um, they played a little game to determine which table would go first. This is so great. I'm so proud of myself, okay? So the question was, how many total gifts would you give, get from your true love if he or she gave you all of the gifts over the 12 days of Christmas? It was a question, just like this question uh, that Gauss was asked. Now, I, I wasn't thinking of this because I hadn't taught this course. I actually haven't, hadn't taught this course for a few years. I totally didn't even think about this example. But I had thought about a question like this a couple years earlier for another thing that Vice Principal asked me to figure out. This is the way I did it. And I thought, okay, wait a minute. There's 12 days. 12 and 1 is 13. Uh, 11 and 2 is 13. Uh, 10 and 3, 13. 12 days, so that's 6 groups of 13. I did 6 times 13 in my head real quick, and I got 78. So, so picture this, okay? Picture this. The MC at the front is saying, okay, to determine which table is going to go first, we're going to ask you a, a tough question. Get ready to think now. If you're blah, 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 12 days of Christmas, literally, three, four seconds, I stood up and I said, um, I know this is a real risk for me to guess this early as being the math teacher and everything, because if I'm wrong, I'm never going to live this down. I'm like, you know, 100 people, right? Whatever people. I said, I, I really hope I get this right. Because if I don't, I, you're never going to let me live this down, right? But is the answer 78? And they're like, yeah, it is. Well, I tell you, studying math just like made my day, okay? Like it was good to be a math teacher that day. Oh, my table was just like, you are amazing. We get to go first because of math? <laughs> so anyways, so mm, yes, yeah, study math because you never know when you're going to get to go first at the buffet because of a math question that the MC asks, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, that is a true story, and um, yeah, math worked out for me. So here we go, I've got the numbers written, um, you know, 1 to 12, so 1 plus 12, right? 13, and there's of course six groups, so I'm going to write these lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Right? And all of these numbers that are connected by the line add up to 13. Oh, it looks like a happy face. Hi. Okay, I'm distracted now. It's a nose. All right, so 13 times 6 is 78. Boom, you get 78 presents. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> so, knowing that, what are we going to do? We are going to the sum of any number of terms, whether it's 4 terms, whether it's uh, 12 terms, Right, the 12 days of Christmas, whether it's 100 terms, Gauss's teacher. The sum of the number of terms, if you know the first one, the first term and the last term, you take the number of terms that there are in total, divide that by 2, and you multiply by the sum of T1 plus T of N. Okay, the last term. You're going to add up 100 terms, take the first term and the hundredth term, add them up, multiply by half the number of whatever N is, 100 divided by 2. 
that is the first formula for the sum of uh, the number of terms in arithmetic sequence. This is formula number one. Okay. Very important. Now I have this over on the side. We talked about this already, but just what is an arithmetic series? Okay. It's the sum of the terms in arithmetic sequence. You got that? Now there is another term because uh, an, uh, sorry, another formula because what happens if you don't know the last term? Which it could be true, right? It could be true. You don't know the last term, so you're thinking, oh boy. Um, I, hmm, if you know the first term, that's important. Um, if you know the number of terms, that's important. But what if you don't know the last term? Well, you're going to be able to find out from the pattern what D is. That's important. If you know what D is, you can use the second term. And let me develop the second term for you. Uh, second term. The second formula. So watch this. We're going to take this first formula. I'm going to rewrite it a different way. What's the nth term formula? That is t of n equals t of 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So another way to write the sum formula is this. n over 2, that's the same. 2 times t1 plus n minus 1 times d. It's a little bit more to remember, but that's another uh, valid formula for the sum of the first n terms in any arithmetic series. Okay? All right. So we'll do some examples here next, but um, that's the intro uh, to this lesson. Uh, we'll talk about a couple examples here coming up in the next video.